Here's the former Saint and Viking, Morton Anderson, to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. his way across the 30 to the 32. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. First carry now, this is Williams. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. To throw is Romo. And finding Davis here, the tight end. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. A shotgun snap for Romo. Catch made by Slayton. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out, to the sideline, and make a catch. Johnson, the intended target, and it's second down. again. Romo. On the catch, it's Andre Johnson. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 29-yard line. 23 yards the pick up there. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he'll take this down just shy of the 25-yard line. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Three-yard pick up. Brings up second and seven at the 26 yard line. They'll run out of the gun here. Williams. A one yard gain there following the three yard pickup on first down. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. From the gun, here's Romo. Got a man, Slayton. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, Romo. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. It leads to second and ten. And just one tick to go, so this will obviously be the final play of this first quarter. On second down. It's Jones, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. We're scoreless after one. Throwing on third down, Romo. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. 
And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. And he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity. We finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second. And finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Lutz good on the extra point. And that makes the score 7 0. This is miserable. Will Lutz. Set After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Jackson now to return. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. Here's Derrick Henry, NFL's leading rusher a season ago. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Six. Brings up second and four. Running from the gun with Henry. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Down at the 35-yard line. That's a gain of three. It's third and one. From the gun on third down, McNair. And this is caught by Jackson. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, remember, they tried to give him the ball and let him run on the last play, but I think the light bulb went off in their play caller's mind, and this time... They get it to him the more conventional way, and it's much more successful as well. On first and ten, McNair. And he was hit as he threw it there, and it forces it incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, McNair. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 22-yard line. A good pick up there, 22. They'll run on first down. It's George. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll make it a second down. Brings up second and two at the Patriots' 14-yard line. Out of the gun, it's McNair. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And the Titans are going to have first and goal as he's out of bounds at about the eight. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. And they'll try the option on first and goal. And the Titans are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Second and goal from the one. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Derrick Henry from a yard away, bowling his way in. And the Titans are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Morton Anderson to kick off. Each 
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Johnson now returning. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. begins with a run by Henry and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play there second down third quarter action here on Christmas Day hope everyone's having a blessed holiday season second and ten right now he's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32 he had a ton of success here so far but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one yeah even on that one there was a little bit of a hole but it closed there quickly at the end From the gun on third down, McNair, and it's complete, Henry, and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. First and 10 at the 45-yard line. A first down carry for Henry. And he's got room. Derek Henry all alone. Touchdown. Titans. Derrick Henry, the second touchdown of the afternoon, and the Titans have taken the lead. I guess when you look back on it, it was just a matter of time until he popped a big one like that, and you know, at halftime, you and I discussed it. They had done a nice job on him in the first half, but there were a couple of occasions where it felt like he might wiggle out of traffic and take it to the house. Finally here in the second half, that got done. Returning it, Johnson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. And this game was all square at halftime, but now they find themselves down seven following the opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter. And they need to take a good, relaxing, deep breath, don't you think? Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. They can still run their offense. Plenty of time to get back in this game. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Out of the gun, Romo. He finds his tight end, Gentry. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. I was not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. To throw on third down, Romo. And that is incomplete. We're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the